Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, this is Red Eye Jedi seventy seven here. Today I am on FTSO.eu. Um, this video is going to be about the new tool that they gave us, and I'm gonna just try to use it in action on Flarex. Um, I will make other videos go in more depth, but this one is just a brief overview to help you use the tool. Um, so first of all, you're going to want to go to FTSO.eu. And once you get to your the website here, you will see up here in the top, you'll see demo signals. Go ahead and click on that link. And right here, you'll see, would you like to find Flare X demo triangular arbitrage opportunities? Click X. Now here is the arb tool insert values to find triangular arbitrage opportunities um, before I go over this I just want to let you guys know if you've heard me talk about Julia in my other videos this is that um, there's no more install downloading and installing Julia no more uh, finding the text file entering the values renaming the file or any of that nonsense it's all right here. Um, FTSO was nice enough to throw this on the website, put a nice UI on it for everyone to use, make it very user friendly. Um, there is some uh, copy and pasting there that you're going to have to do. I believe there's about 15 lines going down here of all the different values. It is not needed to do all of them. You could always leave it at zero if you don't want that pair so if you are invested in everything but doge you could go and leave everything that talks about doge blank and put the values in for everything else and so on and so forth um it's up to you you could fill them all out or you could just do certain pairs um so I am going to go ahead and fill out every single one of these values. Um, so bear with me for a moment just because I want to give you a better look at how to do it. Um, right here it says there's a YouTube video on how to use it on your mobile. Uh, yesterday it did have me right here. It had my last video right here, uh, which is why I'm making this one. I'm trying to make one that is just for their website because this is a very good tool to have uh, later in the competition uh, the competition they may be doing some swings with uh, all the values of tokens to try and simulate real life events uh, but on a bigger scale just because we only have three weeks of this so um, this tool, some people use it right now and are unsure whether or not it's useful, but it can be useful later on. Um, people are also worried about it saturating um, the market because of so many different pairs, which, yes and no. Um, like, just focus on the ones that you're invested in and... It, it should help and there's there's other ways to to figure out a good swap other than just using this arb tool but this arb tool can be very helpful so i'm going to go ahead and swipe this over here and i on this side i already have flare x up um so what i'm going to do here let me refresh my page all right now over on this side, you see where it says minimum desired gain. Um, for example, 1.04 for 4% gain. You can adjust this uh, if you want. I don't know if that really matters or does anything, but um, there's no need to because we're not going to make a trade unless we know for sure that we're going to make money on it. All right. Don't just say, oh, the application says there's higher swaps here. I'm going to swap it. Do your homework. Do your research. Write, get a pen and paper if that's what it takes to write down the values to know what you have. 
all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and fill everything out we got white flare white fin um, the way it shows here is the way you want it on here so the first one slash last one then you're gonna copy the value here so copy uh, and I'm hitting control C to paste it in control C no paste <laughs> Well, I would do control C, but I didn't want to do it. I caramba. All right, there we go. Um, well, and then it changed while I did it. See, and, and it, it's a small little change, but it does change. Um, y flare, so we're going to do Y flare USD, Y flare USD. So I'd highlight that, control V to paste, uh, Y flare, XRP, control C, control V, Y flare, LTC. So Y flare, LTC. Highlight, copy. okay now that we entered everything i hit submit and this is where it brings you now if you look at all of these like this right here it shows that there's a possible 10 percent gain if you do that swap if you participate in this swap there's another 10 percent you got 9 10 9 10 7 so on so forth so uh if you find one that you like um so i'll try let's see USD Y flare Y fin USD the way I would do this uh, and it's the same thing down here is I always start with Y fin because um, most of the time I let me go over here the farm when we're on the farm and we decide we want to go ahead and claim you know it comes in wife in so when you claim your wife in you know i would go to swap so that's why i always do wife in first is i i'm already assuming that that's where i'm coming from if i'm already holding wife flare then i would start in that order you know what i'm saying so the way i would do this one is i'm gonna do wife in to usd and then i'll do wife flare to wife in to check the values, I like to start with one because that gives you a good number. It's an easy number to remember, all right? So we can copy. Now, if you have a balance here already, I would copy that balance and paste it um, to give you your values. But right now, I like to put one and then I'll copy this because you already know with one wife in, you're gonna get this much USD. And then I copy that USD, throw it on the top, and I'll put Y flare down here on the bottom, paste the USD number on the top, and now you got your Y flare number. So you copy that, flip it, and then you put Y fin back on the bottom. Now, is that higher or lower than one? Lower. So no profit there. 
Um, you know, I, I'm still trying to understand this a little more, but I don't go for anything that doesn't show, like if there's a zero here, I'm not going to do that swap at all. If there's a one, you're probably not going to make a whole lot of money on that swap. There's a possibility. Um, it just depends because you also got to take into account your gas fees. Um, but this is always good because there are times where you could come on here and then you'll see, you know, maybe a 20% gain. Then you know for sure if that's a 20% gain, like this one was close, but the values, you know, go up and down and for whatever reason, it didn't work this time. Um, but there's so many different ones you can try. It depends on which one you are looking at. I was just using the YFIN. USD white flare as an example because that was showing a 10% gain um, So that's it for this application very easy to use I will do another video going deeper into everything But right now my main goal was to make a video on the FTSO.eu tool that they put out for everyone to use uh, like I said, for all of you that have listened to my videos before, that this is now Julia. Um, they basically took the Julia code and gave it a very easy to use UI. There, I'm sure there will be more improvements as we go along in the future, but as for now, this is how it is. Um, and just so you know, when you get here, if you find out the values are all weird, you could always hit the back button and go back and it'll show you every single value that you entered and you can be like oh whoa i forgot to add a decimal point here or you know like anything can happen you could accidentally enter in the wrong number anywhere um even when just copy and pasting you could accidentally not change one of these and you get the wrong value so you can very easily go back fix it and then you hit submit again It'll pop it all up or populate. And there you go. There's your trades. Um, so I hope this helps you guys understand how to use the application a little easier. Um, and just what it's supposed to be for. It's just to help triangulate good trades, good swaps. Um for your arbitrage trading because you never know when you'll find that that gem you know i'm telling you you come on here there's times where i've been on here and i'll see a five and when you see a five you're like that's smoke and i'm getting in there right now um i haven't seen it during the public beta yet but that's just because we just got started um in the private beta they did the same thing they started off started us off nice and smooth and then once everyone was ready, they started just playing with those values and throwing stuff around. And it, it's a, a great ride. So, all right, guys. You have a great night. I'll talk to you later. Bye.